So what I, I'm curious to know, like, so you have a handful of certifications and you do a lot of training in your, in your spare time. Mm. Um, what is a common attack that you use a lot that you didn't learn from a certification or other mainstream training? Oh, certificate authority vul- vulnerabilities. So anything to do with, I want to say it's CV 2022-26923. Um, so right now there's like 14 different possible escalations. The most common one I see is one and four where they're misconfigured certificate authority templates where either they allow, you know, the domain users, authenticated users or domain computers groups to enroll a certificate on behalf of another user. So if you can do that, you have domain admin like pretty much right away. Um, That's escalation one. And then escalation four is a group such as authenticated users, domain users, or domain computers has permission to overwrite a template or overwrite its own template. And in doing that, you can make it vulnerable to ESC one and then perform the same action and request a certificate on, on behalf of another user and get domain admin that way. So those I didn't learn from anything. I just stuck to it, did the research. They're fairly easy vulnerabilities to find and actually execute. Um, And then they started getting popular pretty recently though. So now like a lot of hack the box machines have them um, and they like go through step-by-step how to like actually go or how to actually execute it. So what was the need? Like, why did you... Um, have to or why did you want to learn how to do that and how did you um, figure out where the resources was for that so somebody that used to work at our company I forgot like why it came up in conversation but he was like this is something we should definitely look at and I was like okay like I'll take it upon myself to to go and do the research about some new cool like vulnerability that we haven't heard of so I looked it up and Turns out that there's uh, already like two tools built out for it, or maybe even three now. Um, And one of them works out of, you know, like a Linux VM. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's figure out how to exploit it. There's also two, yeah, there's two TriHackMe rooms that go through it. So I did those rooms just to see what it was all about, see how to actually go through the process of, you know, enumerating the certificate authority, figuring out which vulnerability or which template is vulnerable and then how to execute this attack. And this one tool that you can use out of the Kali VM, um, it pretty much just does it for you. You do the find command, it shows you all the templates and which ones are vulnerable and what they're vulnerable to. Uh, Then you do the request and you supply the domain admin's username and you have the PFX file. And then you do the off command and you have the NTLM hash of whichever domain admin you you picked nice nice so what what tools um do that so one is called certify certify is the like windows executable and then the one on that you can run out of cali is called certify so it's c-e-r-t-i-p-y and it's part of the like cali packages so you can just install it with sudo apt Nice. Um, so yeah, I have messed with Certify a little bit, um, but I didn't do like the hardcore research like like you did for to to take advantage of of that kind of stuff. Um, and and I know like you did a lot of research on it because the fact that you memorized the whole CVE <laughs> like that's cra- that's <laughs> yeah. like the most wildest <laughs> thing to me. It's like you had the whole number memorized. I'm like, man, that just we know you did the research. <laughs> yeah, it, especially when I'm explaining to clients like how it happened, I usually just send them the CV number number because that's got all the, the links as to how to remediate it. Nice. Uh, so, um, what training are you focused on right now? Like, what what's your uh, what's your primary thing you're doing at the moment? With OSCP done, I'm kind of taking a break, but also not at the same time. Um, so I. I probably gave myself two days and then I was like, okay, I'm bored. Like feels weird not studying for something. So I'll just go and find a random hack the box room right now and finish those up. And I've been really sticking to the ones, um, or like the, the non-retired machines just to see how I do. And 
you know, see what's new if there's anything going on, like a new CVE wise. But with that, with that being said, uh, so you got a handful of certifications. Do, what what certification or even like uh, Hack the Box uh, Pro Lab do you think is the most uh, realistic in terms of of real world ethical hacking? I would have to go with Zephyr from Hack the Box. It, so it's one of their Pro Labs, and it's what is it? I want to say it's three networks that you have to go through. It's completely Active Directory based. So you have, you know, MSSQL enumeration. You have, there's no like local privilege escalation since it's all Active Directory based, but it's, you know, you're forging inter-trust tickets. Um, there's three domain trusts. So you got to go through each one. 